Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. Truly, this really is a quite wonderful stadium located here at the foot of the Alps. And so we stand for the anthems. Well, that was impressive. Match that. Israel have gone 4-3-3. Jim, how do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Marek Hamšík. He's got great vision and fabulous technique, Peter, so he just seems to be able to put the ball exactly where his teammates want it. He chips in with plenty of goals too, and he's another one of those modern playmakers who excels when it comes to supporting the attack by making those late runs and popping up and hitting the back of the net. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. And it's Kuchka. Battles to win it back. And the counter is on. Skriniar positions himself well and cuts it out. Good ball. He's had a shot! And he's there to hoof it away. And a real let off. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Kuchka. Kuchka spreads it towards the left. He's got options out wide. So Harvey...
Oh, too much weight on that. Gets it back. And it's Zahavi. Zahavi. He's had a go! Goal! Israel! And Israel score first. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. A 1-0 lead established. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Zahavi. He's picked him out. Big chance! Israel are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Israel have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. And he won't reach that. Coming up to half time, leading, and things are looking pretty good. Chooses to go back. Turns and goes back. A real chance to break. And it's played forward. Hampshire. This could fall anywhere. Neither side really getting hold of the ball. And there's the end of the first half. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Israel just didn't want the half time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Israel are in at half time on a comfortable two goal push. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. It's come through, and he's had a quick look inside. Has a pop! Oh, real danger here! Cleared away. Here's Sahavi. It's Netko! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Another example of how comfortable this team is on the break.
Kuczka. Kuczka goes looking. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Hamshik. Forward it goes. So Harvey plays it out to the flank. Kuchka. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Forward quickly. Hampshire. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Kuchka. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. One delightful ball, and the rest was simple. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. We have got ourselves a game here. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. And it's Sahavi. He's found his man. He's had a look, and the shot! This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Boy, sit forward. Israel are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Pass needed to be better than that, and... Shoots! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. Well, it was just some way we're passing that let the opposition in then, and I have to say, a very lucky escape. You lose it there, you expect to be punished. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Done very well to intervene. Forward it goes. Oh, that's nice. Now it's a... He's gone for it! He's been off try. So here comes the substitution. It's going to be a double change then. Skriniar tries to clear. Crosses it in. It's a brilliant interception. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle.